This is a day of much. We are starting to run out of time here in New Zealand, amazingly, even though we plan it six weeks. So today we are bombing north of Wanaka. We, Wanaka. Wanaka. We're hitting the blue pools to kick off the morning. Today we're driving through the Host Pass. It's full of, excuse me? What? I was waiting for the cars. Oh, you ready to cross? Yeah, <laughs> beautiful sights <laughs> and waterfalls and these blue pools. It's a big day today. Today is Fisher Price my first time. We're on a concrete path. Everything's like two minutes away from the parking lot. It's not raining. It's not freezing. Bugs aren't terrible. And we're just in a trail following all the other extremely large camper vans from one site to the next. It's an ideal way to actively recover from the massive <laughs> hike yesterday. We're already at Thunder Creek Falls. If you want to do the very most New Zealand in one day, you go down this road. It's too much stuff. How many waterfalls? We're going to see like 10 today. <laughs> Maybe three. This is our third or seventh waterfall of the day. The terrain looks like we're driving through Vietnam again, which is awesome. It's all foggy, like sheer cliffs and everything. And then Allison graced us by putting on her Vietnamese men's size large puffy jacket well, she wore for the duration of the drive. Shows you a little bit of how easily the weather can change here in New Zealand. What do you think about these trees? This is a completely different kind of forest than we were just in. Yeah, you don't have to go anywhere else. Just go to New Zealand and it's every place. Montana meets... Scotland meets Scotland. Wisconsin. Did you already say Antarctica? Antarctica again. Yeah, Northern Michigan. And that's only the south end of the island. <laughs> that's all we've seen so far. <laughs> It's been two months since we got the gimbal in Singapore. We're walking across loose rocks right now. We're in New Zealand. It's very windy. This thing has just been awesome. I dropped it off a motorbike going like 40. I dropped it out of the van a few times. I didn't tell Allison about till right now. It goes with us every day. We use it all the time. The battery lasts forever in it. Way more of our footage is usable than it was before. It's, it's just visible. watchable. You don't get dizzy watching it. You don't get mad watching it because it's so bumpy. And I mean, yeah, just walking across rocks, it's still pretty beautiful. We've traveled to the other side of the world. We've driven almost completely around South Island, all here to see the Franz Josef Glacier. Allison, Allison, what are you feeling right now? I feel excitement and anticipation for the beauty where it's about to unfold. It just looks like a cloud. Glaciers look very similar to clouds. We're gonna go look at this cloud. Don't have high hopes for the glacier at this point since we're still stuck in a cloud. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's an awesome walk. Uh, I mean, we're yet to be on a trail that lets you down, but like just surrounded by oh, waterfalls. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm managing online expectations versus reality <laughs> here. This is one of this is like the thing I wanted to do the most. It's like I'm sure this looks beautiful on some days, but there's a lot that you can't see because it's covered by cloud. You can't really see how high the mountain peaks go. Thoughts, emotions. There, there it is. I'm not disappointed in what we're doing right now and today. I just, I know we're leaving. No, I just want you. Okay. You're asking me. It's 
this is like the one thing I wanted to do the most because it was like the most unique from our whole trip, you know? It's like a good lesson for life. I'm gonna flip that. This is easily one of the best hikes we did here. I mean, it's still a hike. It's an hour and a half to return. Yeah. You see some dirty frozen ice. Hey, if you're not all worried about the glacier, and I mean, who's the biggest fan of a glacier? You're in a huge valley surrounded by waterfalls. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's insane. The waterfalls are coming from everywhere. Everywhere. And that's like all you hear is just the roaring of the water. And then there's this ranger guy. <laughs> Did you film me? No, I didn't. This poor guy. I got pictures of him. I'll slice him in the video. We're at Comden Cave this morning and we are excited. We don't know anything about it besides that it's a cave, it's on our way, and the review was in German. So we have all of our professional caving gear, which is this headlamp, this flashlight from Kmart. This is where it gets real. Do you want to put your headlamp on? Cave. I've been in every cave. I don't like caves. You're a modern day explorer. They're really scary. This one especially. This looks like a hobo stabs you cave. Oh, the spider but, webs. Well, how about I just stay right here and I'll hold the camera for you. This is never seen before cave. This is as real as it gets. All right, then this is the back of the cave. Lots of people have been here. This is just another super interesting thing about New Zealand because there's no way in hell this thing would be open to the public in the US because somebody would sprain their ankle or something and there'd be a public outcry. It'd be filled with concrete. Finn? Yeah. Finny's okay. <laughs> We're gonna go see some blowholes. Here, let me go this way. What is your experience with blowhole? What can we expect? I'm no expert. <laughs> Terms here. <laughs> we have more uh, Murray poems. I should have been reading all the poems <laughs> at all these places. Give the first couple lines of this one a try. Welcome to the peoples of the four winds. Welcome to the ancestral land. No, no, no. Tihei Maria and Welcome to viewing platform number one. I think we found a blowhole. It's so delayed. Oh, here it goes. All right, this, this is why you get here during high tide, because then you get to see all the crashing and all the blowholes. So just walking the track around this park, like each scene is different that you stop. You're not seeing 10 of the same thing. So yes, lots of tourists, lots of cars pulled over the side of the road. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love it, it's gorgeous. I mean, we have a beautiful day. That certainly helps. You're giving it a... Hold on. <laughs> Pancake racks, I give this a... I see what all the hype's about. New Zealand in one day. We woke up in a forest and drove to the coast and made breakfast. Then we explored a cave on our own. We went to Pancake Rocks and saw some blowholes drove up the coast a bit and are at a seal colony where we made dinner and we're going up north even more to go sleep in our car at a bar with good fish and chips. What more do you want? Made it to Nelson, yay! We had 
have seen the ocean from all four sides of New Zealand, north, south, east, west. Still in South Island, but made it to the top. Allison found free parking for us on our way north. We're doing Abel Tasman tomorrow. Building our camp around the free toilet here. There's people washing babies. There's people washing goats. There's Allison. Hi. She's the queen of the homeless people of the parking lot here. We've had different views pretty much everywhere we've stayed. Here, I mean, <laughs> it's like camping at the mall parking lot. We overpaid. Pulled over for a potty break, and Allison saw people out with plastic bags on the beach. All these, right? Tell me about your cockle hunting experience. Hey, thanks for checking out Tripped. If you're checking this out, you're probably planning an adventure of your own. We sell travel gear on Amazon and guarantee, literally, that you'll love it. So check it out through one of the links in the description. See you next time on Tripped.